hi guys welcome back to another video so today's set is this rose gold and red Christmassy set so I'm starting off on the pointer finger and I am going to do some smile lines so I've just applied that bead of Amore and I'm just getting that into the shape I like using my brush So I'm just trying to get those sides equal. You don't want a wonky side, you don't want one higher than the other. So once I'm happy with that, I will apply that cuticle bead and tuck that into that cuticle and then just pull that up onto the previous bead. Just make sure that is all nice and neat. As usual I will be coming back and just filing these a little bit crisper a bit later on so this is a cut out as well but only one side swoop on this one so I've just applied that bead and I'm dragging that so that it's up to one side again I'm just using my brush to get that where I want that line Once I'm off with that, I'll apply that cuticle bead again, tuck that in and pull that up into that previous bead so that it all blends nice. So while they're setting, I'm going to go onto this pink. So I'm using CJP's Rose Gold, but you won't see this colour because I am going in with this glitter. So this glitter will like, it's like a really, really light gold but when I put it over this colour, it just looks stunning. And I don't know where I got this from. I will be absolutely gutted when this one goes. So I've just done a full nail of that one. onto the middle finger so this is lobster pot from cjp so i'm going to do a full nail of that so i'm just going in with a couple more bees just to make sure that that is fully covered And then I'm just going to get a tiny bit of gold. Oh, that's red. A bit of red. So this was just some random red that I had laying about. And then I'm going in with that really light gold around that edge. So before I do any filing, I'm just going to cap the pinky and the middle finger so that no dust gets inside that nail. So I've just applied that cuticle bead, tuck that into that cuticle and then pulling that down. So I'm just having a look from the side just to see how my apex etc is looking. So that needed to be a bit bigger so I've just applied another bead near that cuticle. And then a small one on that tip. Just clean up underneath where anything that's gone under I have to get rid of. And I'm going to cap this one as well.
So is everybody else ready for Christmas and all excited? I've nearly done all my Christmas shopping for presents, so I'm well happy. Can't wait for Christmas Day now. Okay, so I've capped them, so I'm just going in with a file and I'm just filing those free edges. Just to make sure that they're nice and crisp and straight before I put a colour up to them. I don't know if you can hear my voice again, but it's whatever I had beginning of month, last month, I've still got it's come back with a vengeance. Oh, I'm having so many cough medicines and stuff, it's unbelievable. Okay, so I filed them and I'm just going to go in now with lobster pot on this side. So I'm just putting a wet bead in there and just pulling that down into that wing. Make sure you get that as far down as you can. So I'm just tidying that up. So I'm just putting another little bead in that little bit there. So this side I'm going in with a bead of rose gold and then I'm just going to put that light gold glitter over that. So I'm just using my brush just to make, tidy that line up, make sure it's all nice and straight. And then this one, I'm going to put lobster pot on this again. Keep that line nice and tidy and straight. And then just add a tiny bit of that glitter up that side of that nail. So I'm just going to go in and cap these two now. Just going to cap this nail and then I will file these off camera and I will be back when they're all nice filed and tidy and cleaned up. So 
So I'm just going in and checking these to make sure there's no dips are out before I file these. Okay, so these have been filed. So I'm going to go in and concentrate on this finger first. So I'm just applying a top coat and I will cure that. And then I'm going to go in and add some gel. So this is what I'm using. Oh, I'm dying to cough. So this is like a thicker gel, which holds gems and stones really good. So I'm starting off with a big square one. And then I'm just going to add different sizes going around that cuticle. I'm just going to go in with some tiny little ones. And then I'm just going to go in now with some microbeads, caviar beads, whatever you want to call them. I'm just going to go in and put dot them round all these crystals. And did the bleeding did it they just didn't want to come off the dot until these so I just plonked them on and then started moving them around once I'd got them off the dotting tool and I quite like the look of this nail this little cuticle stone area So once I've done that, I did curl that for a minute, set them in place, and now I'm going on to top coat. So once I've top coated these, I will cure this in my LED light for a minute. And that will be this set done. So if you haven't already, guys, I'd love it if you could subscribe, like, or comment on my videos. And if you haven't already, you should join my 400 giveaway. As soon as it's 400, which ain't long. I will be giving that away and I have added some more stuff into that so yeah why not join in for that but thanks for watching guys and I will see you in my next one bye